What's up YouTube, it's Rick. Just got done washing the Toyota. Thought I'd give you guys a quick walk around and go over some of the mods that I've done on this thing. So real quick, I'll just show you the truck and we'll get to it. We've got a 2019 Silver Sky Metallic uh, double cab short bed SR5 4x4. Went ahead and did a ceramic coating on this bad boy myself. Paints really smooth. Helps it pop and last a long time. Makes car washes much easier. For a lift, we'll start off there. We've got the Old Man Emu BP51 kit. Lifts it about two and a half inches. This is a full kit with coilovers with the SPC upper control arms. Really liking this setup. It's been working pretty well for me and it's hold, held up nice. Uh, it's got a lot of adjustability and uh, rides really smooth off-road as well. And it's built for a lot of weight. So in the future, if I want to build this thing out, you know, I can uh, do some of that. Moving on to the wheels and tires, we've got SCS F5s. These are the 3.5 back spacing uh, in a 16 inch diameter. And the tires are Cooper ST Max in size 285, 75, R16. Did have to do a cab mount shop to get it so it doesn't rub and played with the alignment a little bit. Uh, moving on to the armor, got Cali Ray sliders. These are the zero degree bolt-ons. Uh, these are uh, powder coated black with the Lion X fill plates. Makes it nice for my kids to climb in and out of the truck to get up into their car seats. Got a two year old and a four year old. So makes life easy for them. Uh, we got the two tone uh, SR5 interior. Show you. Uh, the seats Seats match really well uh, These are Clasio leather seat covers uh, That I put on myself. These are uh, two-tone. I think that's the dark gray and black. Yeah, dark gray and black and it matches the Gray and black SR5 interior pretty spot-on Moving on we've got a miso custom shift knob with the uh, ECT button here. I haven't programmed anything to this button it's nice to have that ECT button uh, to free up space for some more buttons here. We've got uh, aftermarket seat warmers that I installed underneath the Clasios. There's a, a piece that goes here and one up for the seat back to heat it. And we've got the buttons right here. You can see they look pretty factory, one on that side and one on this side for the driver. You can also see these two front locker and rear locker. So my truck is equipped with uh, e-lockers. It's a SR5, but we had East Coast Gear Supply build me front and rear discs with 529 gear ratio with uh, Harup e-lockers. So these are, I believe, um, air on board switches. The lighting matches really well. Um, that's why I went with those. So we've got front and rear lockers. There's also a safety switch for the lockers here. Let me move over to the other side. We've got the flux capacitor safety switch. So that has to be turned on in order for the front and rear lockers to be turned on just as a precaution in case you bump that on accident. Um, let's see, what else do we got inside? Got some aftermarket dome lights, just the bulbs, LEDs, brighten it up. It's nice. We've got the, uh, the dash mounting system. Forgot where this one came from. Found it on Tacoma World. It's really nice. Uh, it mounts right here. It looks really factory if you want to take it off. And I've got this uh, wireless phone mount charger. So you just snap your phone right in there and it just wirelessly charges it. Just like that. Just pop it out. Got a scan gauge. Monitor my transmission temps and my gears and you got four customizable gauges there got gears voltage transmission temp and rpms right now so that's cool um we've got a Takancha p3 brake controller for towing the travel trailer i tow a 20 foot r pod weighs about 3,000 pounds so the 529s help out a lot with that 
moving up front here just going quick so I can get everything in uh, I went ahead and blacked out my headlights let's see you can't see that one very well let's see this one's a little bit better to see so took these guys apart painted the inside black sealed them back up mod was kind of a pain in the butt but finished product is worth it got the taco garage TRD Pro grill with some uh, grill lights and it's got the uh, uh, cruise control sensor here uh, moving on we got some aftermarket fog lights these are diode dynamic uh, pros these are street legal SAE and they uh, are pretty bright and they throw out a ton of light just over to the side of the truck which I really like. Um, we've got the Miso custom puddle pods. So those come on with the dome light circuit. And I have them on a dimmer. And there they go. You can really see it in the dark, but not so much at, during the day. Got some other lights here, rock lights. I've got uh, four rock lights in the four corners, as well as uh, LED strips that come on here let me open the door see if you can see it come on down underneath here looks like we got some bulbs that might be out on that have to check it out um in the back we have the uh backflip tonneau cover the mx4 this thing is really nice some random junk in the back here. We've got some bed lighting. So it comes on with a custom pressure switch so that they just come on automatically when the tailgate opens. There's also a secondary switch here if you want to manually just turn them off. Uh, I've got the high lift mounted here on some custom brackets that I made myself. Yeah, the back flip is nice. You know, you just open it up. If you want access to your full bed, you can pop it off pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and turn these on. Uh, some more armor underneath. So underneath, we've got Bay Area Metal Fabs uh, full kit. And this is the front, the IFS, and the rear plates. Had to do an exhaust reroute to mount that up. That gives you tons of clearance. These are actually aluminum, so they're a lot lighter. But uh, they're holding up well so far. I haven't really beat on them yet though. Under the hood, we've got Spiker Engineering uh, hood struts. Just uh, really wanted that. I hate having to lift this thing. This hood's actually really heavy. And you don't have to use this anymore for that. We upgraded to, uh, this is a North Star battery from uh, batteries and bulbs this is a group 27 we had to put an aftermarket tray in there for that but um yeah it's holding up well so it could be a little bit more secured but i'm actually moving it pretty hard to make it do that so she's uh holding up really well this is a really cool mod this is a baxter oil filter relocation kit so the toyota the stock oil filter um is down underneath and it doesn't actually use a can it uses one of those cartridge filters and it's kind of a pain in the butt makes a mess and you have to pull the skid plates off to do an oil change which is kind of a pain so with this setup um, i'm actually getting ready to do my first change on this setup here in about 4,000 miles um, you just unscrew it here the oil drains down had to run these hoses down underneath and it runs to Let's see, you can kind of see it here. Let me go from the other side. You can probably see it better. Yeah, there it is. The adapter that uh, goes into the engine. And I've got a Fumoto drain plug that I just hook a hose to. That's right up under here. And I can uh, drain the oil without pulling the pan or without pulling the skid plate makes life easy 
Um, oh yeah, got the underhood lighting. A little pressure switch here as well. So as soon as you pop the hood, it turns on the light. There's also a button here. Turn it on and off manually if you want to leave the hood open, but don't want the lights on. Uh, that's pretty much it under the hood. I'm sure there's more, but that's uh, probably good enough for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to hear more about the truck or want me to talk about more of something specifically, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, I've done all the work myself on this, so I can answer a lot of stuff for you if you guys uh, are looking to do a mod and you see something that I've done and you just need a little help or a pointer or just some, uh, you know, a review on it or anything like that. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.